Even width spirals aren't easy to digitize using traditional digitizing tools like Digitize Block. I'm Lindy Goodall, and in this video, I'll show you ways to get Hatch to do the hard work for you. One way to get an even width spiral is to use the Satin Line tool. And that's what I've done here on the upper left. While I can adjust the shape of the curve, I can't have rounded ends like this second one. See how this one has nice rounded curves? And I can't make a tapered curve or have this ball end. This is all one piece. And of course, we have this really cool, interesting fill. And how are we going to do that on a satin line? So I'll show you how in this video. Let's switch over to this document. I have my spiral artwork already on the screen, so I just need to trace it. And I'm not going to start too close to the center because I need to have space for that ball thing. So I'll start about here. And I'm just right clicking around. And you don't want to place your right clicks too close together. You really want the minimum number of nodes on a line that you can get. I'll click Enter, and actually that looks pretty good, so we'll go with that. If I select my object, press O on the keyboard, and choose Satin, you can see there's my basic spiral. I'll zoom out a bit. I'll hide my artwork, press D on the keyboard, and if I choose Reshape, which is H on the keyboard, you can see that while I can change my spiral line, I can't change the shape. So I can't taper the ends. I can't round this end. I can't turn this into that ball thing that we saw. So we need to do something a little different. Now Hatch has some new tools, and I want to show you what they are in this video. I'll switch that back to Single Run. Now from the Create Layouts toolbox, I'm going to add some outlines. We can now create outlines around lines, and we can have rounded ends. So I'm going to do an offset of 2.5. I only need one. I don't really care what color it is at this point, but I'll go with red. And down here we have some new corner options. And we can have sharp corners, we can have sharp cut corners, but I'm going to go with this round corner. So I'll click that and I'll click OK. Here's my spiral. Pretty cool, huh? And now, because this is a closed shape, if I select it and hit H, you can see that I now have nodes to reshape my spiral. Let's taper the end. So I'm going to press space on the keyboard, get rid of some of those nodes, and we'll just do some little minor adjustments here to get a nice taper. And when we're happy with it, we'll just go with that. Press Escape. I'm going to select the green line, and I'm going to hide it. Now, sometimes I just hide things that I don't need anymore, just in case I have a little error and I have to go back. So I'll delete that at the end of the design. Now we want that ball shape on here. So remember back here, we had this ball shape. I could use the reshape tools again and try to make a ball, but there's an easier way. We have a new tool called the Weld tool. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a circle, move that into place, that's probably a pretty good size. Then I'm going to select these and change them to fills. Weld works with filled objects, not outlines. So down here in the toolbox, digitized toolbox, I have this weld tool. Now I have one piece. Pretty clever, huh? Now because we've applied a fill to this shape, it only has one direction line. We want to change it to satin we can see that it still has one direction line. So we'll need to add some stitch angles. And to do that, we'll go to the Edit Objects toolbox, choose Add Stitch Angles. And I'll just start adding some stitch angles. You can see that I'm adding them about every 90 degrees or so. We don't add, need to add a whole bunch of stitch angles, just enough to do what we need to do. I'm going to angle that last one so we don't end up with really short stitches. 
and there we have our satin. So we're getting closer. Let's go back to our original. We're now up to this point, and now we want to get this cool effect here. How do we do that? Well, just a few more button clicks. So with my design selected, I'm going to go to the Effects tab. I'm going to click on Elastic Embossed Fill. This is new, and there are a lot of options down here. We're not going to look at them all. And notice how the pattern follows the stitch angle. That's pretty cool. I'm going to change it to single row of scaling. So that means that as this tapers down, my little angles get smaller. And let's go back to fill, and I'm going to turn off auto split so that we can see what's going on here. Go back to the effects menu, and now I'm going to tear off this menu. We know it's a tear off menu because we have this more, and then we have these little bars at the top. So all I have to do is click and drag. Now I can just try different patterns and see what I like. You can see you could have quite a lot of fun with this. Oh look, it kind of looks like a diamond back rattler. Can you see how you have so many creative options in here and it's just so easy. We didn't do anything that I call actual drawing type digitizing. Yes, we had to draw original spiral, but can you imagine having to draw this spiral using the blocks tool and having to get all those angles just perfect and all perfectly spaced? That would be hard. Hatch has so many powerful tools for making interesting and creative embroidery, and fortunately, they're easy to use. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.